Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the Thursday night 2022 Panini Black Football. 12 box pick your team number three. We did a random number block randomizer, which is uploading right now. Excellent. Good job, Joe. And we sold some teams straight up. So big thanks to everybody here for this group for buying your team straight up. Joel, you ended up at last month, last spot mojo with the Jets before we pulled the remaining teams for this number block right here. So there are the results uploading right now in a separate video. So it's a serial number break for that group of teams right there, only for picker team three. So set that over here. And this should be a pretty quick break. I know we're kind of pushing up against the end of the night, but a break like this, it's really fast. I don't mind going a little late, even if it is my Friday. I don't mind at all. It's a pretty fun break, too. Yeah, Joe, I feel you. Joe, yeah, Joe, Chris, and I were chatting a little bit about, you know, about the family-run sports franchise, how it's good sometimes. But sometimes you run into issues like my Lakers are running into. But I don't know. You got. I mean, where do you find that balance? You know, now it's just like there used to be a time where we're very, you know, where where characters own teams like Al Davis, and even to a certain extent, Mark Davis's son is still sort of a a character. Jerry Jones is sort of a character, you know. Ursay, Jim Ursay is a character. But I mean, I think that's slowly. I'll use that blank card right there to hide the hits, but I think that's slowly going away. And there's Max Crosby, 75. And I think it's just going to end up being a lot, a, lot of, a lot of teams being like way too corporate now. There's Sky Moore. Now, remember, um, I forgot to mention that for these teams, there are going to be... Kansas City is not part of this. But there are going to be teams that um, get non-numbered cards. right? We're going to randomize them as one lot to just one person in the break. I think it only turns out to be a handful of cards. It's really not that much. And all the hits are numbered anyway. So just FYI. We'll do that randomizer at the end. There's a try and Davis Price rookie relic for the Niners. That'll be for David. There's Jalen Peter, 18 out of 50, Texans. That's for Jeff. We got Desmond Ritter. Nice. Three color patch, silver ink autograph, 132 out of 149. Brody, yep. Brody and his Falcons. Getting that Desmond Ritter. I guess Mariota's been playing well enough. I'm not sure if we'll, short of an injury. Uh, to Mariota, which I'm not wishing that upon him, but short of that, it looks like Desmond Rule just continue to marinate a little bit, which is fine. I think there's sometimes QBs get rushed into the league too quickly. Oh, yeah. There is going to be a great documentary about this when this dust settles, Joe, about Dan Snyder. I mean, there's Jalen Tolbert to 75 for the Cowboys. That's a number block team, actually. It's 38 out of 75. Go to Brian T. But yeah, the whole Snyder thing's interesting, right? Seems like there could be a bunch of swinging doors once that gets fired up. I mean, how much leverage does he really have? How many owners want him out? I, Ursay kind of called his bluff a little bit. There you go, Brody. There you are. Congrats, man. Poor Brees Hall. Get well soon. Jets, that'll go to Joel. But does he really have that dirt on it? Oh, there's Matt Ryan Falcons edition. Nice gold ink. There you go, Brody. Think of the good times with Matt Ryan. And we've got... Nice. Brian Robinson Jr., 81 out of 99. Silver ink. Got Gets shot. Comes back to play. You know, then I start looking at looking at guys, you know, who are who are like, oh, I've got a sore hammy. Look at those guys and be like, look at Brian Robson Jr. You know, 
better top loader here. And that Commanders are a number block team. So that's 81 out of 99. Chad Cromwell, number one. Next box. Yeah, poor Matty Ice. Unceremoniously benched for Sam Ellinger and for the rest of the season. Barring an injury to Sam Ellinger. So I guess dust off your Sam Ellingers. We'll have to wait to see how he plays this week. Yeah, and Joe's saying uh, it'll be interesting if what if he has is far more serious than what people think he has. With that being said, he could definitely be blowing smoke up people's butts like most owners think. Yeah, that's why I kind of like how Ursay kind of fired back. Now, how much dirty laundry there's a Zeke Elliott does, does he have? Is he willing to, to press the button on that? Cowboys 8 is going to be for Brian. Jerry Jones has yeah, Jerry Jones has like more legitimate, illegitimate children. If Jim Irsay don't care though. Jim Irsay called him out. I know, right? He was like, "Fine, <laughs> tell him what do you have." He wants him out. Irsay wants him out. Yeah. There's Kenneth Walker. That'll be out of one twenty-five. And then we've got a, ooh, look at this. Brody, classic, Morton Anderson. 48 out of 50 for Brody and the ATL, the Dirty Birds. Hmm, maybe Ritter, Ritter will get a chance. Brody's saying it's kind of up and down with him. This guy was great. All right, and ooh. Well, now that Brees Hall is down, does, does Damian Pierce emerge as your leading candidate for Offensive Rookie of the Year? He's been putting up some nice numbers. That's for Houston. Jeff with the Texans. Ursay's not playing with a full deck as it is. I kind of like that wild card. You know? He's a little bit of a wild card. Kind of like that. He's the one that might be able to to out wild card, a wild card like Dan Snyder. That could be fun to see a showdown for those guys. There's George Kittle to 75. David with the Niners. Ooh, nice. Brody saw that card on Panini Sneak Peaks. He wanted that in his collection. There it is. There's Jamal Adams. There is Justin Herbert. 15 out of 99. Starlight Materials. Piece of his jersey going to... Mark H and the Bolts. Ooh, Redemption. And some Patriots. A Patriot. Tyquan Thornton, 48 out of 99. Who's got the Pats in this one? That, that The Patriots are a number block team, so that goes to Patriots 8. And that'll be for Brian T. All right, we got Midnight Signatures. These look really sharp. Midnight Signatures, D, A, Darnell, Darnell Mooney in the Midnight. Midnight Mooney. For the Bears, Eric with Chicago. We'll be dancing in the moonlight. You hear about the Midnight Rambler. There you go. There's a bad moon on the rise. I'm getting all those songs. I'm getting all those songs from that one card. All right, there's Aaron Donald, 75. It'll be for the Rams, Jeremy. There's Elijah Moore. There's Drake London. 117 out of 125.
What's crazy is that we all thought, well, psh, I kind of thought so too. They had a great defense. The Colts had some good offensive, great offensive guys. It just seemed like more so than the more so than the Broncos. It really seemed like the Colts were, and this is for Nico, eighty-four out of one ninety-nine. Greg Dulcich. More than this team, I really thought the Colts were just like a quarterback away, you know, from making. I mean, nothing's guaranteed, but making a run in the playoffs, and you know, seeing what they can do. You get a little lucky. Matt Ryan might might be back in you know in the playoffs with a good. They got Jonathan Taylor, right? They got Michael Pittman Jr. They got a good defense, Darius Leonard, and all those other guys, and some good coaching. And you thought thought it was all there, but all right, I'll see you, guys. all right, see you guys. All right, and that goes to Green Bay eight. Packers were a number block team. Brian T. All right, next one. All right, see ya. Another redemption in there. There's Nick Chubb, 35. There's Tyler Boyd. There is more Starlight Materials, 94 out of 99 for the Bolts. It's for Mark. Well, now that Week Eight's underway, Ravens beat the Buccaneers 27 to 22. I was on the Bucks minus one and a half. Nope. Uh, are, do we have any fun matchups coming up? Broncos, Jaguar, eh. Panthers, Falcons. Sorry, Brody. That's a neutral. Eh. Pierre Strong Jr. for the Patriots, 59 out of 99. Um, number block. Chad Cromwell, number nine. Bears, Cowboys, mm. Dolphins, Lions. <laughs> I mean, it's football. I'll watch it. But ooh, nightlight signatures. Turn on your nightlight. Heartlight, Neil Diamond. A, A, A. Aaron, Aaron Jones. Jones. We have our top men on this, Dr. Jones. Top men. Oh, Packers are a number block team. So that goes to zero, Chad. We named the dog Indiana. Yeah, I don't know if pa Packers, Panthers, Falcons are going to be the Fox game of the week. Bears, Cowboys, Dolphins, Lions, Cardinals, Vikings, even, I mean, even Raiders, Saints, I'm not terribly thrilled about. God, I hope the Raiders don't lose that game. Uh, oh, Patriots, Jets. There's one out of 75, Patrick Mahomes. Patriots, Jets, I... A little divisional matchup. Patri Patriots are three and four. Jets are five and two. I'm sure, the Jets would love to improve to six and two against the hated Pats. That'd be that'd be interesting. Steelers, Eagles, Titans, Texans, Commanders, Colts, Niners, Rams, Giants, Seahawks. Sunday night football. Sunday night football looks good. Packers at Bills. Sunday night football. I'll be back to work on Sunday night, so we'll watch that together. Oh, Buffalo's minus eleven. Uh, and then Monday Night Football, Bengals, Browns. Yeah, I'm not. Why? I'm not sure why they did that trade. Made the made the defense a little weaker. Made Rokon Smith really sad. You see that press conference? It's Brian Robinson to 150. That'll be for. Oh, that's a number block team. That'll go to 71. Washington 1 is Chad. We got a Brees Hall. 8 out of 25 auto for the Jets. Joel with the Jets. Poor Brees Hall. But hang on to this one. Hopefully 
could be a future star in this league. Actually, yeah. Giant Seahawks. I'll try to keep an eye on that. And, ooh, Garrett Wilson. Nice. Dual relic and autograph. 47 out of 99. I feel like they're kind of building something out there in New York. And you got some fun guys on the offensive side of the ball. You got guys like Sauce Gardner. Brees Hall injury. I think one of their main offensive line guys are down. That's not going to help Zach Wilson, but I kind of like what's happening there. Out of 25, Devin Lloyd. Jaguars, that's a number block team, so that's Jaguars 2, Chad. We got an, a Panther here. We got we got an Eagle, Jalen Hurts. They're looking good. That's Aaron. Aaron Salinas with the Fly Eagles Fly. And we got Aiden Hutchinson, 12 out of 35. Lions are a number block team. That goes to Detroit 2, Chad. Chad Cromwell. And we've got Kyle Hamilton, sizable signatures, 15 out of 99. Ravens are a number block team, so Baltimore 5, Chad Cromwell with that extra spot that you won. You think the Bears... Think there's a big pickup in that draft, or they think another? No, I don't. I don't. I no, I don't think so. I don't think they've identified a specific player. Like fourth rounders, that's like, you know, that's like, I don't know, fifty-fifty on whether they'll become regular starters or not. Like rounds one, two, and three, one definitely you expect them to be starters. Maybe even, maybe even like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fourth round's pretty average for a serviceable guy. It's sort of a weird deal unless they're clearing cap for the off or something. I don't know what they're there must be some other steps there, but But yeah, first round you definitely want them to be superstars, if not perennial pro bowlers, right? Even though that doesn't exist anymore. It's Darnell Mooney. And and like second, third round, you want them to kind of be regular starters, right? Just Guys that, because you can't always pay the first round guy. You can't always have all first rounders. They can make in all that first round money. So second and third rounds, just sort of your 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 solid starters. You're not going to pay them too much, but they'll be the glue guys of your team. They'll be around for a long time. You know, maybe maybe be a all pro. You know, every, you know, a couple seasons here and there. And fourth round, you start start to get a little more risky. Four four five. It's a little more risky. There's Damian Pierce for the Texans, Jeff. And then 6-7 are just long shots. I mean, those guys are practice squad guys or they're getting cut anyway. There's Carson Strong, Eagles edition, 21 out of 99. So yeah, I'm not sure what the... Fourth round's, I guess, decent. This draft class is supposed to be pretty deep. But it's sort of kind of being like, are they giving up on the season already? Kyle Hamilton, 5 out of 25. Baltimore, 5 will be for Chad. So, I'm not sure. I mean, why are you subtracting from your team? Bears are 3 and 4, same as the Packers. It's not too many games behind the Vikings. and I mean, the Vikings are looking really good, but, you know... The, are really scaring anybody? You know, I don't know. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm sure that move's going to add up to some other moves they're hoping. But, I don't know. There's a nice little insert here. Can he pick it? I'm not sure. These might be one per case or short printed or something like that. But nice one for the Steelers. Brian T.
And a nice little patch right there to 50. Eric Uzuk, Uzuganma. I think his, his autographs say Easy e Kind of funny. I like that. Uh, Dolphins. Dolphin Zero. That's going to be for Chad. Miami Zero. Ty Chandler. Vikings. Steve Locke. 11 out of 25. Steve Locke, he's a Vikings guy. They're looking good. I got Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook on my fantasy team. They're coming off a bye. You know, and with, with the Packers looking as rough, for the, rough as they are, this is the year for the Vikings just kind of take it. Three-color patch, silver ink autograph, Brees Hall. 160 out of 199. Joel, Jets, last spot mojo. Strikes again 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Did Roquan Smith re-sign with the team, or is he on like a, or is he just, no, he wanted an extension, right? He's in his fifth year. They picked up the option, but he wanted an extension instead, but he's going to play. I guess they're assuming he's gone. It's 80 out of 99. Isaiah Spiller. Mark with the, uh, the chart. I would take a Roquan Smith. Lakers. Raiders could, Lakers could use a Roquan Smith, too. Raiders could use a Roquan Smith. I don't know if the Raiders are going to really do anything in the uh, in the trade window, but I mean, I, would, they, I wish they could use some could use some help in the secondary. And if Chandler Jones wakes up for the Raiders, there's Ikem Ikongwu for the Panthers, Jeremy Port. Chandler Jones wakes up a little bit. Helps out Max Crosby a little bit. Ooh, nice Trayvon Walker jersey and autograph. 81 out of 199 for the Jags. That'll be... That Jags are a number block team. Jaguars won. Chad Cromwell. Uh, Raiders linebackers are actually pretty decent. But, uh... So maybe they don't really need a Will Quan Smith, but... Especially if Chandler Jones can wake up a little bit. Um... But the Raiders secondary, that's still safety secondaries. They're still a little a little rough, a little a little scary sometimes. Too many big plays being given up. You know? I'll I'll give you two two things. Two plays from the, uh, you know, from the Raiders-Texans game in the second quarter. After a 13-play, 62-yard drive, capped by Davis Mills to Chris Moore touchdown, a 13-yard touchdown. Can't give up 13-yard touchdowns to Chris Moore. That's in the second quarter. Let's flash forward to... Let's flash forward to the uh, end of the third quarter. This put this put uh, Houston up twenty to seventeen on the Raiders at the end of the third. Six plays, seventy-four yards, eating up two minutes of time. Guess who gets the touchdown pass from Davis Mills? Philip Dorsett. Come on, I'm glad the Raiders won the game, but come on, can't give up touchdowns to those two guys. I mean, if you're giving touchdowns to, like, is, I mean, is Brandon Cook still on that team? You know, like, if you're giving up touchdowns to to Damian Pierce, fine. Brandon Cooks, sure. So that, that part's still a little scary. Here's Matthew Stafford. The Rams season's getting, looking a little scary. Jeremy with the Rams. They got to they gotta find something to do. Trade Waller, huh? I like him a lot, but he's a great person. Just been been injured a little bit. I know the Packers were kicking the tires on Darren Waller, but I don't know if they want an injury prone guy. Or maybe they do. Maybe they'll they'll be like, hey, we'll just wait until you're healthy and we'll put you out there with Aaron Rodgers. I don't think Rodgers would mind that. 
That's uh, 85 out of 99. Patriots 5. That will be for Chad Cromwell. What do the Raiders get back? Who do the who do the Raiders want back for the Don't they have uh don't they have a fancy uh but they wouldn't give him up, right? Like a Jair Alexander? It's pretty good, right? Pretty good defensive back. I don't think they're giving that guy up. But that's where the Raiders need help in that that secondary, especially when you're facing Mahomes twice a year. And you're facing, and when the, whenever when they're healthy, Mike Williams, Keenan Allen with Justin Herbert, and they get burned by Kelsey every Travis Kelsey every game. Speaking of the Chiefs, here's Trent McDuffie, uh, Brian with the Chiefs, one fifty one out of one ninety nine. And the last one here is uh, Reach for the Sky, another Chief. Sky Moore, 10 out of 99. There's a snake in my boot. Reach for the sky. And that's Brian with the Chiefs. All right, and there you go, gang. That's that. No points in this case. Nice. No points to randomize. Let's randomize. Uh, we got to give away the non-numbered cards to somebody, so let's... Go back to this list right here. Let's copy your names. Well, let's find some new dice here. New dice. The connection secure, Randall, or trust me. And new list. And name on top after eight. Six and a two, eight times. We'll get the non-numbered cards for that group of teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That'll be for Brandon. Brandon, I, I did not call your number in this break, but you'll get all the non-numbered cards for those teams right there, a little consolation prize. There you go. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with me. That was Picker Team 3. I'll see you next time for the next one. Actually, join Jason. This is our last break of the Thursday night. So join Jason on Friday and Saturday. He usually starts a little bit earlier, maybe 2 o'clock Pacific, around there. So check back in there, break with him, keep filling up those World Series mixer stuff, and um, what else? I think that's, that's it, and I'll be back on Sunday, but join Jason Friday and Saturday. Have a great night, everyone. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.